In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your life way easier by introducing job forms into your life and to your customers. You'll learn how to create a form just like this for any event or experience or anything that you have coming up where you need to get responses back from your customers. You can use forms like this for a multitude of different things. And so here is just an example of this form here. And this is for my next upcoming event. I have packages also for them to choose from. There is a $55 package, $31 package, and a $10 package. And so down here, this will also give them a secure way to check out. And it just gets all of this done and, you know, puts everything in one place. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. Stay tuned. Okay, so to show you how to exactly create a job form, I'm going to share my screen. And so here is the form, like I showed you all ago, um, that we are going to be, you know, working from or working to create. And so what I'm going to do is go over here and you just go to jotform.com and then you're just going to log in. And so I am going to log in with my Google account. Okay. And once you are logged into Jotform, you can create um let me go to pricing just to show you. It's free as long as you're just doing five forms. So if you, you know, with or if you're using the free version, it's um, only you can only do a limit of creating five forms. And so a workaround that I'm using to get around that because I have five forms currently under my regular email address. So I'm just using a different email address. Um, eventually I will probably upgrade, but for right now, I don't really need, um, but like six, maybe seven forms at the most going at one time. And so that's why I'm kind of changing, you know, I'm just kind of working around the system here. And so these are the different packages if you want to, like I said, I just stick with the free version and it's completely, you know, serves its purpose and does everything that I need it to do. So to create a form, you're just going to come right over here to create a form. I generally start from scratch and I do the classic form option. And so once you click that, it's going to start to generate your form and get you going. And so right here is where you can add your logo. It'll pop up when you click add your logo, you'll want to come over here, click that, and then you'll go to uh, desktop, have it under banners for groups. I do. So let's use this one. And it's going to take it a second just to upload. This is going to make it look very official. And so now what we want to do is just come in here and I'm going to play with these numbers right here uh, just so that I can kind of Let's see, I want this banner to come, you know, blow up bigger size like it is now, but also come over here all the way to the end. And so, and just play with your numbers. Hold on, you don't need to unlock it. Oh, let's see. Let's see what 254. Let's see what 354. A little too big. So it's at 284 is about as perfect as you can see here. Okay, so just for reference, with your banner, you could jot these dimensions down. It would be 749 by 285. And um, like I said, you can just play with the numbers like I did, and um, that will definitely create exactly what you need and then you're going to name your form so this is And so here, when you click, when you click the next um, area, this is just going to allow you to, um, you know, start adding your questions. If you wanted to do a like a sub, oh, there you go. Well, 
glad I rechecked that. <laughs> I was just typing and trusting that, oh, I had it right. So right here, hi there, beautiful, my, hi there, my beautiful friend. And then it goes into all of that. Um, let's see, I'm gonna just copy from this form to this form. And so I'm gonna put that in there just so this kind of explains and gives a little bit of detail um, about, let's see if I can center that. Yeah, okay, perfect. So yeah, so I centered the information there so that it looks just a little bit better. Um, that's just a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> and so right here, you wanna drag questions um, from the left column, which is over here, okay? And so let's see, let's look. What is my first question? So this is my first question here. So I was hoping that it would let me copy and paste. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. There you go. All right, you just have to you just have to select it correctly. Okay, so we're going to select a multiple choice question. And so as it, as I scroll down, you can see um, all the different option questions that are over here. So you click multiple choice. And then I just delete type question. And then I put this in. And then I start creating my options. So it's dry, oily. And whenever you want to add an extra option, you just, of course, hit Add Option, and then Combo. And I'm going to just move that one up. So those little bars right there just help you to move your, you know, your questions around to the way, the order you want to have them in. And now, what you'll want to do is, let's see, add another question. So this one's gonna be a short answer. Okay. And then you come over here, short text, paste. Okay. Then we'll come here. So you need to kind of select above the question and then like, you know, hold down and copy with your right click. Another short question. Now we're gonna do another multiple choice and I will paste this question in here. So we'll copy this question and we're gonna paste it right in here. And then voila. Okay, so now let's just act like we're going to add in um, like um, an option for them to pay uh, through your job form. So let's, let me just scroll down here at the bottom so that that way we can kind of get this all in here. Um, let me just do, ah, let me see if it'll let me copy this. It's fine if it doesn't, but yeah, be nice. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So you can add a picture. So let's first do that. So right here, you can up here, you see where it says basic payments and then widgets. So these are all different kinds of things that you can add in here. Okay, let's see if it does. No, I was going to see if it had ProPay. Um, so it doesn't have ProPay. No. So you would need to use, if you don't have a Square account, just set up like a PayPal account. PayPal and Square and all of those different types of um, credit card processing services are very safe. So 
Um, the ones that they've got in here, uh, Stripe is another one I've heard of that's a safe option, but I've never used that one. The two that I've used um, out of these options that I'm seeing just right off the top would be Square or uh, PayPal Business. You can also set it up as PayPal Personal. Um, you know, so you've got definitely, you know, tons of options. And so what you're going to do um, here first is create an ad, like a little picture. So um, image, let's insert an image, choose a file. And so you just go to upload. And then let's see if I've got something on my desktop, as I'm sure I do. Um, maybe this one might be too big. It might be. Okay, perfect. So it worked out. So this right here is going to be where I give them options. And then now we need to um, set it up to where um, I, I put a product list. And so the first, that's what I'm doing is creating a product list first. Okay. And so the first product, we're going to edit that. We're going to put, delete that out, put this option. And then we're going to change the price to $59. And you could actually put in a description of everything that comes in this package. And so I'm just going to put that in there. And then I like to just add like a little image of, you know, there. But it's, I mean, you don't have to. Um, because they really can't see it that well. Um, oh, goodness. There we go. That's a half shot there. And what I generally do to get those images is, and I move it all the way to the left so that it uses that picture for, um, you know, all the, for, for this package. Okay, and save. And then now you want to add shipping. Um, we're gonna just change it to per transaction flat rate. And we're just gonna charge 350 because right now we have um, a flat rate of 350 with Mary Kay. Tax, you want to set your tax rate and um, minus seven percent and then invoice enable invoice and then you can do i'll just generally put shamika stevens and you can even put your email address or number and then of course you can add your address if you would like and um you can preview the um the uh, invoice, if you have a logo, you can even add your logo um, right here. Let's see, I think I do have my, yeah, there they are, brand logos. So I could easily, you know, pop one of these in here. Uh, let me do this one. And it'll upload. And then now, um, okay. I don't think you have to save anything. Okay, now what I'm gonna need to do is also go over here to payments, and then I'm gonna need to go to Square. And this is gonna ask you, um, this right here is gonna have you connect to your device or connect to whichever um, processing, credit card processing um, company that you're gonna use. It's gonna allow you to connect to your account. So be sure to set up your um, PayPal, your ProPay, I mean your PayPal, your Square, or whatever you're going to use to process cards. Set that account up first before you do this, because you're going to need to connect it so that it can um, basically, you know, check your person out. And so that is it. Okay. And so then once you're done with this form, and you, it's actually got a submit button already there. A lot of times that's one of the things that I have forgotten in the past is to do a submit button. The good thing is it's already got it built in. So I do not have to do that any longer. And um, your form is all changes have been saved. 
So it, it saves each change. And now all you need to do is publish. And once it's published, you can copy the link and then you can, you know, start sharing it with people, if you, um, with the people that you're wanting to um, basically, you know, get their information and allow them to be able to pay for a certain package, all of that fun stuff. Um, I generally, like with mine, I had put it in an email that I sent out. So I had used my job form link, which is this one here that you're seeing that I just copied. I put that in my email and um, then people were able to just click with inside the email and it brought them to my job form and then they were able to check out. So I hope this was super helpful for you. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out and I'll talk to you later. Bye.